everyone, so I've just filmed this hair tutorial on how I get my big voluminous curls that I've been wearing quite a lot recently. So I thought why not film a tutorial and show you how to do it as well. Also let me know by hitting that like button down there if you like the makeup that I'm wearing in this video and if a lot of you do I might do a tutorial on it. I'll do a quick close up of the makeup at the end as well so you can have a little bit of a better look but for now let's get on to the hair. So just starting off with freshly washed hair I just quickly dried it using this blow dry brush uh, which is my favourite at the moment. It's one from Head Jug and it's in the size 79 in case you're wondering. And it's just a round ceramic vent brush that I've been really enjoying recently so I just quickly blow dried it with that just to get a bit more volume and pull out some of the curls because my hair is naturally really curly um, so as you can see it does have kind of a funny texture to it once it's dry and I haven't straightened it, it's a bit frizzy looking um, but there's nothing I can do about that, that's just my hair so once I've done that I then go on to using my GHD straighteners now this is just to um, get rid of any of these little curly wonky bits that are around my hairline because having curly hair it does go a bit funky around my hairline so I don't really like the look of those so I just turn my straighteners on and these are just the original GHD um, flat iron straighteners so once they've heated up I'm then just going to flip this little bit over just to get to the baby hair around my face and then just straighten over those little bits so they're not doing their own thing and all over the place and this is just an optional step you don't have to do this obviously if you haven't got curly hair like me it's not going to be like this but um, you can do it if you want I think it just makes the hairstyle look a little bit more uniform so we haven't got loads of different types of curls going on so then once I've sorted out my baby hair I'm just going to section my hair into two sections taking it in half above the tops of my ears and then just clipping out the way the top half of my hair so it's not flapping around in the way so once I've clipped the top section out of the way with the remaining hair that I've got left down I'm just going to divide that into two as well down the back of the head so bringing the two sections over like this next taking my Babyliss Pro Conical Wand this is the 32 by 19 millimeter wand and I'm just going to start off by curling my hair so taking the one section of the hair we've got left down and I'm going to divide that into about three sections so just getting the one section in your hand we're just going to wrap this around the wand being really careful not to burn your fingers you do get some gloves normally um, when you buy one of these ones but I have a glove that is like one finger and thumb and it's really difficult to use so if you have the gloves they're a lot better but um, if you're not going to use a glove then just be really careful because it does get extremely hot and I've burnt myself quite a few times before so you just want to hold that for about 15 seconds and then just release it and as you can see you get this lovely curl it's a little bit bigger at the top and then it tapers down into a smaller tighter curl at the ends so then once I've done that I'm just going to flick that curl back grab the other section actually I'm just sectioning this off into two sections because I haven't got as much hair as I thought so I'm just holding it in place so just repeating the same on the other side going to wrap this hair around the wand and then just hold it in place for about 15 seconds last little section so once you've done your first layer of the hair we're going to just release the top layer oops and then you're going to want to take about an inch either side of your parting and then an inch from the uh, back as well and then that is your top section you want to just clip off out of the way 
Then I'm just going to halve that again down the back of my head. And then with those two curls that I already did on the bottom half, just flick them to the back of your head out of the way. So then you just want to repeat what we've just done on the bottom layer. Taking your first section again, you want to wrap this around the wand again and when you're curling your hair remember to wrap it around um, the wand out of your face either side. So let me just show you that again. So you want to grab the section and then just wrap it away from your face around the wand. And that's just going to give a nicer finish and a more professional look to the curls. So once you've curled that bit of hair, you want to just release the top and last section down make sure it's in the right part like so and then you want to divide that into two as well and then you want to just throw back the sections that you've already done like so and I'm just going to give that little bit of brush through taking your conical wand again we're just going to curl the remaining hair so just taking sections as usual and then just wrapping it around the wand maybe I should invest in a full handed glove oh. so I like to hold the front two sections a little bit longer as it's a bit of a tighter curl because they're the ones that tend to drop out um, quickest on me I think because you're always messing with the front of your hair maybe so just hold that one a little bit longer so then I'm just going over a few little bits that I may have missed so you just want to check through your hair just in case you've missed any little straight bits I think there's one more little piece on the back. Gotcha. The sections I've been taking to curl my hair are about a two inch section I'd say. Um, but the bigger the sections, the looser the curls are going to be. Vice versa, the smaller the sections you take uh, to curl your hair the tighter the curls will be so if you've got really straight hair um, and it's hard to curl probably would take smaller sections just so it um, will last a little bit longer so then once you've curled all of your hair and you're happy that you've got no little straight bits and it's all curled and um, you should have something that looks similar to this so then taking your fingers you just want to pull them through the hair just to separate all of those curls and already you can see the volume is increasing so then you should have something that looks a little bit like this so as you can see the curls have just been pulled out slightly and it's just got a bit more volume and you can leave it like this if you want maybe add a bit of salt spray just to texturise it up a little bit um, if you like the little bit more messy um, look but I'm going to brush mine out using a paddle brush and I'm just starting at the top of my hair and just pulling down just to smooth out the hair and pull them out a little bit more then you can just mess around with it with your fingers and just get it looking how you want so you can wear your hair in a lot of different ways with this look as well I like to keep mine parted down the center but you can just take your hair to the side 
um, clip these little bits up here, maybe twist them back a little, even pull little curls down the front, um, maybe add a flow or something like that, and that looks really cute as well. This hairstyle normally lasts about two to three days on me, um, but I can get four days out of it at a push. On the third to the fourth day of the hair, I like to put it in a messy bun, pull a few little bits forward, and I think because it's, the curls have fell out a little bit more, it does look really pretty. Um, it's also lovely for a wedding, this type of style, or a party, something a bit more elegant, or even just stick on a beanie and um, let it look kind of au naturel. It is a really quick and easy hairstyle to do. All the tools that I've used are listed down in the description box so you can go and check them out. I'll try and find links to where I got them from, um, but if I can't, because it has been quite a while, I will um, just find alternative links and I'll try and find the cheapest option for you. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Keek, Tumblr and Pinterest if you'd like to keep up to date with me. All the links will be in the description box below. So this is just a close-up of the makeup as promised. It's a really strong um, aubergine winged liner. I've put a bit of gold and coppers through the crease and then just a really creamy um, coral lip. to click that like button down there if you'd like to see some more hair tutorials from me or if you like the makeup look and you'd like to see a tutorial of this then just press that like button so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye, -bye.